Your next summer read hits bookshelves next week and comes from a best-selling author well known to his native Memphis and beyond. Mark Graney thrilled readers with his action-packed Gray Man series and Netflix, as you recall, scooped it up and made it into a movie. If that wasn't enough, now Mark has another series and his second book in that series. That's what he's here to talk about. Thanks for coming again. It's great to see you again. Oh my goodness. I, I, the word I use for you is prolific. Uh, yeah, you said. yeah, I've cranked out a lot of books. This is my 25th published novel, and I'm working on my 26th now, so they keep happening somehow. <laughs> you don't look old enough to have 25 <laughs> books written. I mean, people do one in their life. Yeah, I got a late start, and, and I think that's why I want to just keep writing and, and kind of make up for it. It's really hard for me to say no, and any time a project kind of excites me, I'm like, I could probably work that in between August and December, and it always ends up taking a lot longer than I think it's going to. What's well, Sentinel? Well, tell me about it. Yeah, so this is the second book in my Armored series, and the first one is about a guy named Josh Duffy and his wife, Nicole, and they're both ex-military. He is a, uh, a civilian military contractor, so sort of a high-threat bodyguard in the first book, and he gets into all sorts of peril, barely makes it out with his life, but he's a family man, and he doesn't want to go back into that. So here we are in book two. He works for the State Department. His wife works for the State Department, but he's in diplomatic security, so they get sent to West Africa, into what's known as the coup belt of West Africa, a region that's had eight coups in the last three years. But they're in Ghana, which should be a stable location. It's a very safe, stable country. But some outside influencers come in to instigate a coup there as well. So he and his family are caught in the middle. Not Ghana. So wait, are you um, going, did you go to the coup area? I went to Ghana, <gasps> which is, the, wow. it's, okay. it's in the sort of yes, coup belt. It's sort I of surrounded by Burkina Faso and Mali mm -hmm. and all these countries that have had coups recently. But Ghana, um, was fantastic. It was a fantastic place. So. Yes, I'm dying to go. So uh, your research will take you to different places just so you can get the feel. Um, did you have any encounters with kind of like that coup world? I would say no, other okay. than the fact I was there with the diplomatic security people, so I was kind of hooked up with the State Department for part of the time there, so I got to see what a day in the life was like for them, or several days. I got to be around the Marines there at the embassy, but I also got out into the countryside to see some other location research, so I got to meet a lot of Ghanaians and um, a member of royalty, like all sorts of like really cool things, you know, that happen. So it's a, it's a country that I'm incredibly fond of now, but I told everybody at the time, it's like, listen, in my book, things are going to go crazy here. <laughs> Don't take it personally. It's just the kind of stories I write. And when I read your books, you have such detail when it comes to these, these sensitive matters. Um, are they real or invented, or what can you say? Well, a, a lot of it is real. Some of it is totally made up, and um, I don't want people to know what's what. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I, I spend a lot of time with people in government, and they don't tell me classified things, and certainly not on purpose. But at the same time, you can in make a lot of inferences. And, and of course, I read a ton of stuff as well. So I always find myself going like, should I put this in or not? <laughs> it, it, is this too close to home or not? But I, I think I kind of err on, you know, let's just make the story fun and exciting. OK, and so you said this is your book now, but do you have more in the works? I hope there's more in this series. We're going to see how this one did. The first one hit the New York Times list, so we're hopeful this one does really well. And I would like to do more. I, I know where I want to go in a book three, so uh, you know I'll wait and see how this one does, I guess. And you're getting approached still. Uh, getting approached for other for other books. Yeah, Can you yeah. Talk about I have a couple other things. So I, I write the Gray Man series, and I'm working on book 14 in that series as well. And we're going to do more after that. And then there's uh, some talk of like a standalone novel. And so there's there's a lot of irons in the fire for sure. Okay. Do you think that um, have you talked to Netflix? Because I know that you when the Gray Man series, the first book went to Netflix. You worked. You know, you had to go. Um, are any of those coming back? Yeah, they're, they're supposed to do a second movie. I don't know when it's going to be released. Um, this has actually been picked up by Lionsgate TV. To oh, my TV. goodness. We'll see. You know, still a long shot. But, um, but yeah, I, I hope they'll announce something about the, the second Gray Man Netflix film pretty soon. You're the made for screen author. Thank you <laughs> so much. And he's just a native, like a total Memphis native. Mark Grady, we love you. His next novel is Sentinel. comes out June 25th. And that's where you can catch Mark out on tour at Novel Memphis, Saturday, June 29th. Thank you so much for it's coming by. It's Thanks always for an honor. Me. Oh my it. goodness. Okay.